76 million of us just here in the U.S. We are the biggest generation that ever existed. We were called the me ones, the crazy ones, and boy, do we know what that means, don't we? In fact, we have reinvented every single phase of our life. We were the yuppies, we were the hippies. We like innovation. Well, now we are in the winter of our life. And I can assure you, this is not going to be your average winter. I invite you to join me at Boomerology Reviews every single week so we can figure out how boomers are reshaping this phase of their lives. Join me. Welcome to Boomerology Review. I'm Shahar Boyaya, your host. On today's episode, we are going to see a new trend with baby boomers. Did you know that many baby boomers, as they age, decide to go and live with their friends, just like they did in college? Why is this happening? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I have here today Bonnie with Golden Girls Network, and she's going to tell us what's going on with these baby boomers. Let's watch. So this is Bonnie Moore with Golden Girls Network, and she's going to tell us what's going on with these boomers going back to live together. It's a wonderful new trend. We realize that living like the Golden Girls is fun. I, I don't know, I'm very grumpy, so I don't know if I could live with other people all around, but, but I know there is a huge trend now. There's a couple of factors that um, make it interesting to a lot of people. One factor is that there is a significant increase in middle-aged divorce, and men and women are finding themselves single when they weren't expecting to be. Many women certainly were not prepared for it, and so they don't have assets, they don't have good incomes, and they uh, aren't prepared for retirement. And so they start looking for a way to, to live, and they can't really afford their own apartment. I have two people in my house right now who are both recently divorced, and it's a perfect situation for them coming out of a divorce, trying to figure out how how to start all over again. They have companions, it's inexpensive, uh, and it's fun. A second factor, of course, is as people age and they are single, you have a factor of um, depression sometimes. Mm -hmm. Older people living alone tend to become more depressed as they age. When you are living with somebody, spouse or children or uh, another um, unrelated adult, the depression is, is, doesn't happen as much. You have people to talk to. You have someone you can say goodnight to, and you can go to the movie, and you can go for a walk. Very simple little things in life that, that make a huge difference. Make, makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned the fact of uh, money. There are really some numbers saying that about 70% of boomers will have to work up to 70 or more years mm -hmm. old, right? So looking at other opportunities like uh, facilities where they could go and live in a group, are not really doable, right? Because they cost a lot. It costs a lot of money. And many of the people my age mm -hmm. had setbacks because of the recession. The value of your home uh, went Decreased, down. Yeah. The value of your 401k went down. You lost your job. All of these factors are now coming to play with people who are contemplating um, uh, retirement. Before my husband and I split up in 2008, we had just spent a huge amount of money remodeling the house. Suddenly, the recession hit and the value plummeted. I lost all of that. Fortunately, I kept my job, but I retired a few months ago mm -hmm. uh, so that I could do this. So these factors um, are now coming to fruition and people don't have the money to retire the way they expected to. And of course, we're all expecting to live much longer. So what do you do with the money that you don't have? Exactly, that, that's, so. that's actually a huge problem. What I like about it is that as always, boomers find a new way to yes. reinvent that situation, right? Instead of, oh, what am I going what to do? Yes. Let's go get together and live together. Now, with the Golden Girls, everything was fun, but I bet there are some challenges in living in the same environment with strangers. There are. Okay. But the, the person is only a stranger when they walk in the door. You, you need to become friends. In my own situation, I've been doing this for six years now, and I've had some turnover. I had some situations that didn't work. I simply dealt with it, moved on, and found somebody else. So I have a great group now, mm -hmm. and we get along very well. We live our own lives. We're all very busy. We schedule once a month to have dinner together. I once watched a, a movie that was a different situation. In your case, you have several 
people that just went through a divorce, mm -hmm. right, looking for a solution. I watched the movie where a group of elderly people decided to live together because mm -hmm. they thought that was the best uh, approach. And one of them, of course, was getting very ill and the whole group took care of that mm -hmm. individual, which I thought, this is a fantastic idea. This was before I even heard <laughs> uh, about, you know, living together uh, as boomers. Now, Tell me a few rules before we go into your network that people that are thinking about it, either from the perspective that they are looking for a place to live and they don't want to be alone, or from the perspective that I might have a home that I'm paying and mm -hmm. I could share that. Uh, basic rules to make it a very good experience. I actually teach a course. Oh, uh, nice. a, a, it's a conference call class, four hours, mm -hmm. and I have a book that goes along with it. So we actually go over so many of these things. Prepared from you have to have some tolerance for, for change. You have to be willing to work at it. You have to be willing to communicate about issues and Try to develop your expectations ahead of time. That's what mm -hmm. I, I teach more than anything else in the class. The book was written from my experiences. So mm -hmm. when I started out, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, and I had some good times and some bad times. And I took all that stuff and wrote it down and made a book out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a how-to book. It's really thinking ahead. Um, you're not trying to create the past. You're thinking ahead. You need to set up your house so uh, people feel that they have space and that this is their home and they're not intruding and they're not being treated like a, a, a border. So the homeowner needs that frame of, of reference and the homeowner also, it's important to develop written house agreements. Mm -hmm. I stress that a lot because what you're doing is you're laying out what your expectations are and if the expectations are there, it's easier for someone to fit in and not cause any difficulties. And then the person moving in of course has to also be willing to be a little bit flexible about working things out. There's a lot like a family situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which can be scary depending on the family. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Now tell me about your project and what you're doing because I know you're going to other states. This is growing, right? Yes. We've developed a, a database mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's a national registry and a person can join uh, there's a small fee for a six-month membership. Mm -hmm. Once you put your information in, you can search everybody anywhere in the United States. So let's say I want to move someplace. Maybe I live in Maryland and I've decided I want to move to California. I can go on the registry in California, look up people who have homes, and maybe I want to move to San Francisco. So mm -hmm. I find somebody and I say, hey, you know, I'm interested in you. And then I can contact her directly and we can talk back and forth. Mm -hmm. Maybe I decide I, I like the idea well enough. I just get on a plane and go out there and visit with her. We can work things out. So once you make the contact, you do the communications and the negotiation, negotiations. We don't match you. Okay. Uh, we allow you to make your own decisions, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which I think is important that you need to be able to see what's out there and choose the person that you might like to connect with. Right. And we also have arrangements where you can get a background check and a credit check. My experience has been that most people who answer the ads um, are good people. Uh, I'm not, I, I've, only once did I have a person that was a really questionable person. Mm -hmm. People tend to be honest about who they are and I've never had anyone that really scared me when they came to interview. Mm -hmm. We always do group interviews in my house. Okay. Um, I've had some women who were a little bit concerned about doing a one-on-one -on -one interview. What I usually tell them is ask your friend to come over mm -hmm. or your daughter or mm -hmm. your next door neighbor or whatever and sit with you during the interview. Sometimes people want to meet at a uh, the local Starbucks and that's not fair to the person who's checking out the situation because that person would like to see the room the home, and yes. the house and mm -hmm. you know, what does it look like? So it's reasonable to invite the person to your home, but if you're not quite comfortable, what you do is you have somebody there with you during mm -hmm. the interview. So in, in my book, I teach people how to advertise and I teach them how to interview. I've got a whole set of interview questions. Mm -hmm. And for instance, these are good answers. These are bad answers. If you get these kind of answers, I'd be a little bit concerned. Um, but if you find someone you like, here's the next step, the next step, which is a lease and mm -hmm. house agreement. So I'm working with a woman in, in Maryland where I live and, and, uh, she registered a couple of months ago 
and I went over and looked at her house and I says, well, you know, you need to paint this room and see this stuff in the closet, take all your stuff out, you know. So I kind of gave her some hints mm -hmm. and she painted and she put up a new curtain and then somebody contacted her because she's advertising on my site. Mm -hmm. And she, then she called me, she says, come over and help me with this interview. So I went over there and she didn't need me at all. The right. two of them clicked Click. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was just perfect. And then, and then, it, so I sat there and chit chatted with them, but they didn't need me. Mm -hmm. And then she said, well, help me write the lease and help me write the house agreements. And I says, okay, I will. But I want you to look in the book and I want you to start working on this. Mm -hmm. So then an hour before I was supposed to go over, she calls me and she says, I don't need some help. I, I understand. I know exactly what to do. Uh, so it all worked awesome. out very well. So, so not only you're providing the context, you also have all the assistance they need in the process, right? Mm -hmm. How many states is that available right now? We have people registered in about 30 states so far. Mm -hmm. There are about 225 people in the database okay. scattered around. We're still building. The way we're building is we're going to have regional affiliates, mm -hmm. which means somebody on the ground who will make contact with organizations and be available to answer questions and be available to teach classes. Mm -hmm. And that person is going to have a local meetup group. Okay. So the meetup group can, is so that people can come and hear about it and talk about it and say, well, I'm not ready yet, but you know, tell me how things are going in your house, mm -hmm. you know, and you get and the word out. It's mm -hmm. really, that, that's a fantastic project. Now, if people want to know more about it, how should they contact you? The website. Mm -hmm. And the website is goldengirlsnetwork.com. And you can also register to be on our mailing list. We put out a monthly newsletter. Okay. So the monthly newsletter this month talks about the affiliate that's opening in Dallas next week. There is a uh, communal organization in New Mexico that uh, uh, we wrote a little article about. They, they're looking to buy, uh, there's a, a bed and breakfast for sale. They're going to mm. buy that and turn it into a Golden Girls home. Cool. There's several books that, that have been written about shared uh, housing that are advertised on our, our newsletter. Mm -hmm. So. We send the newsletter every month with all the updates, and then you've got the website, and you, you can take a class without being on the website, or you can buy my book. This is my book. Okay. How to start Golden Girls Home, and where can they get this? They can buy it from the website. It costs okay. $12.50. Fantastic. Bonnie, thank you so much. Uh -huh. And you know, if you're a boomer, that you're kind of thinking what you have to do next concerning your housing, and this sounds an exciting idea. Check it out, goldengirlsnetwork.com. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If you are diabetic like me, or maybe you have arthritis, or even if you're a pregnant mother, you really want to pay attention to the product I'm going to show you. It's a lot more than a product, it's a system. It's the FoodMate system. One piece of the system is this brush. You know, you can use this brush in your shower or in your bathtub. It has soft bristles here for the tender places in your feet, and stiffer bristles right here that takes away all the dry skin and rough areas. But that's not only what makes the system we also have the rejuvenating gel. The rejuvenating gel is composed of tea tree oil or maleluca, aloe vera and conditioning. And as we all know, tea tree oil and aloe vera are fantastic for healing skin and takes, they take away also the odor. So even if you have some sports fan inside your home, you might want to try the systems with them. Now, like I said, you can use in the shower or in your bath. The, the system has suction cups that you can put to any smooth surface and use it there, either on the walls of your bed or on the floor. If you don't have a smooth surface, you just need to put one foot on one side while you brush the other, so you're always safe. Foot mate system is really great, especially if you have diabetes, arthritis, you're a pregnant mother ha having a hard time reaching your feet, and of course, athletes that need to take that odor out. You can find Footmate at footmate.com. I hope you enjoyed the show this week. If you did, don't forget to share, thumbs up, rate our channel. These are the type of things that keep us going. And I'll meet you next week at Boomerology Revealed.